so freaking good, guys. Ooh, no, no, I don't need any more makeup. I don't need to spend $300 on makeup right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. This is the first video of 2018. I took a few weeks off between Vlogmas and the New Year, and I'm just re-energized. I have so much that I want to film for you guys and I feel refreshed and ready to hit the year running. I'll be doing a blog post about kind of what my goals are for the upcoming year and what to expect. If you don't know, I do have a blog. It's absolutely free for you to visit. Streamwoo.com. It's always linked in the description box. If you're subscribed to my newsletter, you'll get an email about that blog post. I just want to thank everybody who participated in 12 days of giveaways here on my channel during the holidays. It was the first time I did something that intense and kind of, um, coordinated with brands and with you guys. So I hope that all the giveaway winners who have received their prizes have enjoyed it so far. I love getting the photos that you guys send me of you guys opening the products. And I am wrapping up a couple more uh, that need to be shipped out as well as a couple more where I have to contact the giveaway winners that were towards the end of the 12 days. So thank you so much for being a participant of that if you participated and entered. And if you didn't win anything, don't worry. I do monthly giveaways on this channel every month month and I also do little bonus giveaways throughout the month so just make sure you are subscribed to my newsletter or subscribe to this channel and check back because I'm gonna I've, I'm cleaning out my beauty room right now with just keep an eye out because I have so many products to give away because I love you guys and I can't do what I do without you so stay tuned because there's a lot more coming up um, I'm gonna be hiding them here and there on different platforms. While you're watching this video, this video is going to be my best of 2017 in makeup. I will also be doing a skincare one. I put a poll up on YouTube and only like 6% didn't wanna see it. So I was like, okay, I'll do a skincare one anyways. This is going to be the creme de la creme of makeup that I've discovered in the last year. It was really hard. I've been thinking about it for some time and I think I narrowed it down pretty well and I'm gonna be really honest and this is really just the stuff that I constantly reach for and would really miss if it was missing from my makeup collection. Some of it are new launches and some of it are not, but it's personally what I've discovered. So let's get started. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget, I launched my interactive digital magazine by Serene. And if you wanna know more about that, there's a whole website and everything that's in the description box. But uh, issue number one is officially launched for January. It is a truly over 50 pages, over 18 videos exclusive to this digital magazine. It's completely interactive. I'm really proud of it. Karina and I and Chris have worked so hard on it and we're working on February's issue right now. So very excited. Okay. I'm gonna try and go from order of how I apply my makeup. And the first thing, the only primer that I have because I'm being very selective is the Becca Backlight Primer. And you can tell because I've actually used pretty much half of this bottle at this point, maybe a little bit more than half. And this is just a really beautiful, luminous, glowy primer that doesn't make you look shiny or glittery. I actually had this in my collection for a while and pulled it out because of Jay Kissa. She uses this and doesn't wear any foundation on her face. She just uses powder and concealer. And she always preps her face with this. And I was like, I have this, why don't I try it? It is absolutely stunning. You can use it alone. You can use it with just a little bit of concealer and powder, or you can use it underneath your foundation and it's just gonna give you this beautiful, healthy glow. It makes your skin look radiant. It makes your skin look hydrated. It makes your skin just look really healthy. I have pretty normal skin, occasionally more dry, and I do have an oily T-zone. So you can also spot prime by focusing this on the areas that your skin is a little bit more dull. Now let's talk about some bases. And I'm gonna start from like more of my everyday type of coverage and move into more coverage and then full coverage. So you guys know for day to day, I don't like wearing a ton of product. Really enjoyed this First Aid Beauty Triple Protection Skin Tint with Goji Berry and SPF 30. This is a physical SPF 30 and it has a really nice tint. It comes in, I believe, three shades. I am in the shade, uh, 
little shade am I in? I'm in the shade light. Kind of reminds me of the Glossier Skin Tint, except it's got a little bit more coverage, it's not as dewy, and it has an SPF protection, which I personally enjoy. So what I like to do is keep this on my bathroom counter, and if I'm just going about, like if I'm just working at home, or I don't feel like I need a lot of coverage for the day, I'll shake this baby up at the end of my skincare routine and apply it all over my face. And it does give me a nice natural finish. I don't feel like I have to set it. It, it conceals, it gives me a nice glow, and it has SPF 30. Recommend it. This leaf blower guy has been blowing these leaves for like an hour. I thought he was gone, and now he's back. Shoo, shoo. Another lightweight, multi-purpose product I really enjoy is the Sulawasu. Perfecting Cushion Intense. I'm in the shade number 23, which is also medium beige. What I like about this one compared to the Skin Pie one is the Skin Pie one is definitely more coverage and a little bit darker. This one is more of a sheer coverage. So if you don't want a lot of product, which I don't, especially if I'm going to the beach or the pool or if I'm just like running around in really humid weather, I personally prefer like almost no makeup. So what I like about this is it's an SPF 50 and it has um, a lot of great skincare benefits. It's one of their most premium cushion compacts. So it has a lot of antioxidants which work with the SPF to really protect your skin against the environment as well as the sun and just pollution. I love it. It lasts a pretty long time and it does come with a, um, an, a backup cushion that you can replace this with. So I've been using it since the summer and it's still going pretty strong for me, or not summer, end of summer, early fall, and still going really strong for me on the first cushion. I haven't even replaced it yet. The Skin Pie one is also really good that I talked about at the end of the year. That one is just a lot more coverage, and that's almost like a medium to full coverage for me, which I personally would only use if I'm filming, going to a meeting, or just need to be a little bit more made up. You can also build up the Sulawasu one to more of a medium coverage, but this is definitely more of that like less is more you can still see your freckles you can still see the skin and the texture and what it looks like which I like and this is a little bit more glowy than the skin pie one the skin pie is more of a natural finish and this one is more of a radiant dewy finish which I also prefer so it's really up to preference and also budget the skin pie one I think is about $30 if you sign up for their newsletter, you also get a discount. So that one's way more affordable. This one is definitely a premium product. I like this one a lot. So between the two, this one made it in my favorites. Let's go up a step in coverage, and this is what I'm wearing today. This was a later discovery of mine, but absolutely beautiful. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I am in the shade 4. I will also have all the products listed in the description box for you guys. It starts off as like a light medium, but you build it up to a medium to full. It gives my skin this beautiful coverage. It makes me look like myself, but the best version of myself, and it's absolute magic. It lasts all day. It comes in a beautiful pump with the rose gold packaging and the frosted glass. It's so good, and I love how long it lasts, but it doesn't feel heavy on my face. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a ton of product, but I can definitely get the kind of coverage I need depending on the situation and how my skin's doing. So for filming, for going out, for events, I've been reaching for this quite a bit, and it's been my favorite foundation discovery that looks like my skin for foundations. <laughs> that's actually a foundation. Now for full, 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 full coverage, like full coverage, legit full coverage, I'm gonna go with the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation or Creme Foundation. I do have a little bit of an issue with this foundation is the shades. I feel like I think I found the right shade and then it maybe, I don't know that it oxidizes necessarily, but it does have either a very pinky undertone or a very warm undertone. And I want something that's a little bit more neutral. So I find that I'm almost in between shades, but I have to mix it or I have to like just go a little bit darker and warmer and that's gonna be almond would be that shade, but the one shade lighter is way too light. So I kind of have to like either mix or just kind of go with almond. Other than that, 
I love the coverage, I love the finish, and I love the feel of this foundation. It comes in a pump. One drop really gives you a full coverage face. You can do one and a half pumps if you really love the coverage, but you are going to look flawless with this foundation. It's ultra lightweight. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't cling to my dry patches. It doesn't wear off on my oily areas. It is a beautiful demi-matte finish that is fully full coverage, but feels like nothing, which is, it's, it's incredible. It's a beautiful, beautiful product. I absolutely love this product. I hope that they expand the shade, shade range a little bit into more neutral tones. For an initial launch of an indie beauty brand, I think they did a good job in terms of launching a good variety of shades to kind of figure it out. It's not a perfect match, but it's good enough where I love the product so much that it will work and I can make it work for me. Now for travel and for kind of just like, I'm lazy but I need to look made up, I like the MAC Studio Tech Foundation and I discovered this when Nick actually put this on my face during our YouTube Live together from Pixie Woos and this is just really good. It's a cream to powder almost type of a thing so you don't have to powder it and I'm an NC25 so you just take a brush or you can take a sponge and you just kind of buff it in. It gives you this beautiful natural all day wear. It's probably more of like a medium uh, coverage, which is again what I like. And it's really easy to use. NC25 is essentially my skin tone, so it's the perfect match. And for travel, it's perfect because it's not a liquid. It's considered a solid and it's a compact so nothing's gonna really break it's really easy to just kind of throw in my travel bag moving into concealers this probably is no surprise for you guys it is the RMS uncover up in shade number 22 this has been my most reached for concealer all of 2017 RMS Beauty is a bit cleaner it has better ingredients and I just really have loved it. You can use it as a concealer under your eyes, all over your face, or you can even use this all over your face for coverage. So it really is a very versatile product. It's a very long lasting product and you can definitely make it work. A lot of people ask me between this one or the Glossier Stretch Concealer, which one I like more, and it's really depending on my mood. Personally, I travel with this one a little bit more than the Glossier one because the Glossier Stretch Concealer is very, very emollient, which is great when you're drier, but you definitely have to set it with powder under your eyes and you definitely have to set it with powder if you are at all oily or want it to last. There's nothing wrong with it. It is the most beautiful, like skin, glowy concealer, the Glossy Stretch Concealer. This one is a little bit more versatile because if you don't set it, it will still be okay. It's just a little bit more of a demi matte to natural finish, whereas the Glossy is definitely a glossy finish. Um, both do amazing, amazing job at covering and concealing and giving your skin this gorgeous look. But personally, if I could only have one, I would say go with the RMS Uncover Up because it is more versatile. And the Glossier one can be a little fickle if you are trying to create more of a natural or full coverage finish. I love both though. It's last year, 2017, RMS Beauty Uncover Up is the winner. Another concealer I haven't talked too much about on here, but I really do enjoy is the Eborian Touch Pen in Claire. And this is like a cushion pen. This is a really beautiful formula that looks like skin. It almost doesn't need to be set if you are super dry or dry or normal. I still like to set it under my eyes because I don't want it to crease into my fine lines. But this is beautiful under the eyes. I kind of do a little triangle right there. I put it around my mouth. If I have a blemish or anything like this, I put this thing all over my freaking face. It is just a really lovely, beautiful, radiant concealer. And if you're someone who just wants to like get up and go, new moms, moms, students, especially if you're in college, I highly encourage you guys to check out the Borean Touch Pen because it is something you can like throw in your bag and just go like this, blend, and like be like, I just woke up like this. Uh, it's really good and easy to use. Let's talk about some powders. The powder I've been using for the entire year almost is the Ilia Soft Focus Fade Into You Finishing Powder. This is just the most beautiful, finely milled, talc-free powder that I use to set my under eyes and all over my face. Anytime I need a setting powder, this is just absolutely beautiful. 
and I've been using it for almost the entire year, I think. So it usually has a sifter. I lost my sifter. I should probably just get a new one at this point because it's kind of causing a mess, but I love, love, love this stuff. I use it all the time. You guys have seen me use it. I like it mainly because it's a little bit cleaner. It doesn't have talc in it. And in loose powders, I prefer not to use products with talc. It doesn't have any weird flashback. It sets my products perfectly, but it doesn't change my makeup. More powders that I've been enjoying is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powders. There's a huge range of shades, I think from one to six. Now I like to use three and four as almost a as almost a light bronzer. So I used three today all over my cheekbones, kind of as my bronzer and then on my forehead. They're also really beautiful as eyeshadows. And I know my friend Christine uses number six as a blush. It's a really beautiful like reddish brownish blush. And number four I'll use also if I wanna deepen up my bronzer or contour, the way I contour, which is like no contour. These are really beautiful. There's also the lighter shades are great for highlighting or setting your makeup as well if you want something a little bit more radiant and glowy. Really love these. Um, I did break my number six, which is why I don't have it here to show you. It kind of crumbled. That was a beautiful blush shade if you're my skin tone or even a little bit darker. But let's talk about some brow products. Now, the brow product that really just did it for me this year is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Powder. And I love this stuff. It's a universal taupe, which you, you look at this and you're like, this isn't gonna work for everyone, but it really does. It works on my friend Carla from Fashion Maven Mommy. She's blonde and it works on me and I'm pretty dark. Like my hair is as dark as it really gets if you look at my roots and it lasts all day on me. It's one of the most long lasting brow powders I've had. It's also, I love that it's universal. I love how easy it is to use this thing. I mean, you can look at mine, it's pretty crumbled and like crumbling, but it's so, so good. Love, love, love this thing. And a later discovery of mine that I like is the Giorgio Armani Eye and Brow Mastro. I'm in the shade Wedgwood 02. I really like this for more of a brow pomade. I'm not typically a huge fan of brow pomades because I find them to make my brows look almost too stark. I like a more natural brow, and this gives me the ability to really get that nice little natural brow stroke. It sets my brows, it fills in my brows, it lasts all day. It's almost, I wanna say it's sweat resistant and water resistant, not necessarily waterproof, but definitely lasts through a sweaty workout or a hot day. I also like it because it's a dual product and you can use this as an eyeliner. And for me, the shade of my brows does work as a light shade natural eyeliner and it's a beautiful cream eyeliner and brow product in one. So another like dual product kind of a thing that I always enjoy because if you can cut back on products when traveling or just in general, spend a little bit more but get more for your money, that's always a great way to kind of curate your makeup collection, which I'm trying to do right now. Let's talk about some eyeshadow palettes. I honestly wasn't super impressed with any of the eyeshadow palettes of the last year except for two. And one was kind of a relaunch. So the first one is going to be the Charlotte Tilbury Intense Eye Palette. And the reason I love this one is because I think it's so easy and wearable. And I personally prefer makeup that's easy and wearable and easy to use, kind of like mindless when I'm in a hurry. And the desk look is my favorite out of this entire four quad, but the best part is you can do so much with it. You can follow the looks or you can mix and match or you can add this to something that you might already have. Um, the desk look though, I get so many compliments every time I wear the desk look. And I also love that it's a mix of cool and warm tones. So it's just a really gorgeous palette. Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadows are really easy to blend. So it's almost mistake proof because a lot of times with like ultra pigmented shadows, these are pigmented, but like super, like almost like paint like, it is really hard to blend out. And I think it's almost too time consuming for your day to day. And this is something that you just kind of like effortlessly apply and it works. Love this palette. Now the other thing is the relaunch of the Marc Jacobs iconic eyeshadow palettes. And I just have one. This is one of my favorite ones, which is Scandal Lust 740. Very warm, very berry-ish warm. Uh, not typically a palette I would always reach for and use, but I love the way it looked when I applied it. So these shadows are just so beautiful. Marc Jacobs makes really, really good quality eyeshadows that are 
even more pigmented than Charlotte Tilbury, but just as easy to blend. And there's more color options in the Marc Jacob range versus Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury definitely makes wearable every woman type of makeup, and Marc Jacobs does that, but also they have some beautiful greens and blues and silvers and just a lot of more fun colors for those of you guys who are who like to be a little more creative with the colors. And I just love the formulation of these eyeshadows. I also think they're really good quality. Now they are pricier, but um, you get what you pay for sometimes and these are really that good. Now let's talk about some eyeliners and mascaras. So the eyeliner I just absolutely love that's a pencil eyeliner is going to be from Jouer, their Slim Cream Eyeliner. I can't really live without this, especially the shade Matte Brown. I use this to tightline my lashes. I also use this on my lash line and kind of smudge it in for every day. It is absolutely so creamy. It doesn't tug at my eyes at all and it blends beautifully, but once it's set, it's not going anywhere. Like not until you want it to go somewhere. And I also love that there's a sharpener at the, oh, no there isn't. I thought there was. Yeah, there's a sharpener at the end, so if you wanna get that really precise line, you can. It's kind of broken because it like falls out. Oh no, it totally fell out. Fudge. Uh, but yeah, probably because I used all of it. And now I need to go get another one. I used pretty much all of it, that's why it's like, I think falling out. Liquid eyeliner pen that I've really been loving this year is from It Cosmetics, and this is the Superhero Liner. I like the way this is like designed too, it makes it really easy to draw my wing line, and I love how precise the calligraphy pen is. I like that it's a calligraphy pen versus a felt tip. I personally prefer brush calligraphy type pens versus the felt tips. I get more control and a thinner line. I also love that the formula doesn't bleed or smudge or go anywhere until I want it to go somewhere. So it's really good. And this has been going pretty strong. I could probably replace this soon, but uh, it hasn't dried out on me, which is incredible. I always do a, a lower lash kind of like highlight because I think it pops open my eyes. So that's something I always do. And the one I've been loving is from Ilya. This is And She Was. It's a really pretty pinky champagne shade. The only thing about this one, I don't know if it's a broken one or if it's all like this, but I can't retract it. Once you twist it up, it's up. It's not gonna go back down, which kind of annoys me because you know, I like to be able to retract it, but I don't think it lets me. So anyways, that's my one downside about this product, but I absolutely love the formula. It lasts all day. It doesn't smudge or go anywhere. It's a really perfect champagne-y shade, and it's a twist cap, so I'm not gonna lose the cap when I travel with this. It's lasted me a really long time, like for most of the year. It's, it's a great product. Ilia is also, I believe they're vegan and they're cruelty-free for sure and they're a cleaner brand. Mascara of the year, I have two. One, I don't have a new one yet, is the Well People Mascara. That is probably the best clean, toxic-free mascara I've ever tried, and it's so good that I wouldn't even know that it's toxic-free and clean. It doesn't smudge on me, a beautiful wand, it gives me beautiful lashes, it's totally buildable, you're never gonna get spider leg lashes like you could build this up five six times and it's so so freaking good and the other one is from Stilla and this is the huge extreme lash mascara I've already repurchased this one because I love the volume and curl and length I get from this mascara it is definitely up there one of my favorites currently and it's just a beautiful beautiful wand I actually pulled this from my empties it is a little gross right now because I don't want to open my new one just yet. I'm using up some other mascaras, but this is just, it's amazing at how well it builds up. It does get a little spider leggy if you do like more than three coats, but uh, I love it and it's totally, it's totally amazing. Talk about some lip products. So what I'm wearing and what I've been wearing a lot is the Jouer Cosmetics Long Wear Creme Lip Liner and this is in the shade Sable. I kind of switch between Fawn and Sable and I, I line my lips, fill it all in and apply a little bit of a lip balm. I love these because they are the most long lasting lip liners I have ever tried and they don't dry out my lips either. They're definitely like a demi matte matte finish but so beautiful and I can do this I'm gonna eat lunch I'm gonna go about my life 
and it's not gonna go anywhere. It might go a little bit somewhere on the center because I applied um, my Kapari Lip Love on it. But these are beautiful, love these lip liners. I love when they're long lasting and they don't dry out my lips. Other things I like are for every day a lip balm that I've been loving is the Paracomb MD No Lipstick Lipstick. This has an SPF 15. It's a screw top so you're not going to lose it in your purse. And I actually lost this for a little bit. It fell out of my purse and was in my car for a while. And Chris actually was cleaning out my car because I lost my keys. And he found this and a fresh sugar lip uh, lip treatment so I was like oh, you're my hero because the fresh sugar lip love uh, the fresh sugar lip treatment was actually brand new and I had lost it and I was so mad at myself because I in like all the years I've owned those I've never lost one and I lost one and then I also lost this but this is a really beautiful balmy hydrating tint and it kind of I feel like gives you this perfect like just bitten lip color and it's really comfortable to wear. And I have two clean lipsticks. This is the Cocoa Matte from 100% Pure and this is made with cocoa butter but it gives you a beautiful matte finish. It doesn't dry out your lips. It's 100% pure meaning there's no toxins. It's completely healthy to eat which I always think should be the case when you are putting things on your mouth. This is in the shade Mojave. It's just a beautiful like reddish brown nude which I love and uh, it smells like berries so everything's made out of fruit pigment so love that too and I love the case it's so cute and it's aluminum so I think it's recyclable the other lipstick I have been loving is from Kosas and this is undone now I also have dark room which is a bolder shade but I'm just showing th you things I technically reach for the most often and this year I've just really been into nude comfortable lips I haven't done my bold lips like I did in the past few years here on my channel I do it occasionally but definitely not as much as I used to so this is the undone lip shade and it's a beautiful mauvey rose tone I just think it's so so pretty it's also really healthy it's completely toxic free it smells like chocolate probably because there's uh, cocoa butter in it or some sort of cacao or something these are beautiful and I highly encourage you guys to check these out as well now I wanted to talk about like a launch of the year and I have to give Victoria Beckham and Estee Lauder a huge shout out because I only bought I think four products from them and three out of the four products are just freaking amazing the other one's really good it was the eyeliner the dual eyeliner that one's really really good I just have a couple little issues with it and when you pay that kind of a price I don't want any issues these are beautiful they're beautifully packaged but the products themselves are phenomenal phenomenal and I bought these myself I know a lot of people were gifted them or were paid sponsors and I bought into the hype I wanted to avoid it because I was like ooh, ooh, no no I don't need any more makeup I don't need to spend $300 on makeup right now but I did because I love Victoria Beckham she's so chic and I just I, I wanted to try the products so I did and I'm so glad I did because the products are so beautiful they're better than what I thought they were going to be which is very rare for me especially when I go into something with high expectations so the highlight is absolutely beautiful I have the shade modern mercury and this almost looks like a liquid highlight when you apply it on your face it's so beautiful it's got this like champagne -y, um, iridescence to it you can blend it out you can build it up it just looks absolutely stunning and then I've got the bronzer which in all honesty it's not life-changing but it's really good I love it but you don't have to have it there's other things like I really want to get the morning aura because Sam and Nick talk about all the time more Sam I think versus Nick but she uses it in every makeup tutorial and it looks amazing so this is the bronzer I have the shade 01 Java Sun and it's just really soft and natural and it looks wonderful on my skin it doesn't cling to my dry patches with, with a lot of bronzers that can kind of happen so I just love 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 this the packaging is beautiful too and and then the cream blush which is cheek cream in blonde mink this is this is so gorgeous as well and I love using with my eco tools brush which is like my brush of the year this is the eco tools stippling brush seamless stippling and it's so freaking good guys this is the perfect brush for any cream products and just blending out it's so so good so I encourage you guys to check out the brush for sure and if you've been eyeing the Estee Lauder collection with Victoria Beckham 
definitely treat yourself to a piece. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I definitely was like anticipating not loving it all or thinking it was worth the money and the price point, but I kept everything and I was like, yes, I want more. So I definitely am gonna try and buy more through the new year. Um, but I'm also trying to get rid of stuff because I can't keep buying things. I have to like get rid of stuff and also I have so many things I have to try still. Like I'll buy things because I'm like, I want to review that. I want to review that. I'm going to buy that because it's for my channel. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what? I'm drowning in product. I know it's like champagne problems, but it's, it's definitely something I'm trying to be better at in the new year, going through the products I have to review that I've been planning to review, getting better on top of it, getting ahead of it and being more on top of my giveaways because I'll save things that I have doubles of and I'll be like, I'm gonna save this for a giveaway and then I kind of forget about it. So I'm trying to be better. I'm gonna organize lots of stuff coming up. I'm also going to continue to do weekly vlogs here on my channel because I know some of you guys love it, some of you guys hate it. If you hate it, just skip that video. They'll still be beauty videos. If you love it, yay! And I think it's a good opportunity for you guys to get to know me a little bit more and I don't know, I think it's fun. I like vlogging and I'm gonna keep doing it. Don't forget, my upload schedule is every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, 5 p.m. PST. There's three videos a week here, every week at 5 p.m. PST. Make sure you're subscribed, turn on that bell notification. Even so, don't forget, I upload three new videos every week, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, 5 p.m. PST, because for whatever reason, sometimes YouTube just does not let you guys know, even if you turn on the bell, even if you're subscribed. And I do have a newsletter. I'm gonna try and be better about writing to you guys every month. And I'm gonna actually go do that after I film. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, happy new year and that you had a wonderful holiday break. For those of you guys who celebrated Christmas, if not, I hope you just enjoyed the winter and all the festivities of just taking time off. Hopefully you were able to take a little time off like I was. And at the end of the day, I just hope my videos help motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I'm a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me. And if that speaks to you, I'm really happy you found this channel. And I hope to see you guys back here in Thursday's video at 5 p.m. PST. And don't forget to check out my online digital magazine. It's totally interactive. I'm really proud of it. Um, all of that information is in the description box. I also have like an about video and I talk about it in my December favorites, which I will link in the description box and in the cards right now. So until next time, I will see you guys right back here. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful night. I hope this video helped you unwind, de-stress, and take your mind off of whatever it was you needed help taking your mind off of. I know that's why I watch YouTube videos, and I hope I was able to do that for you, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.